showcase game 34 a uh, little bit of confusion here and there all good though we are here uh, some familiar players from last game Oh wait, is it actually underbred board that's in form? Panda's back in actually. Almost exactly the same rosters. Uh, just missing X Fox. I, 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 I feel bad for not being able to say it, but I think it's like Shavak, Fox, something like that. Anyway, uh, on blue team we are gonna have Crane Man, Lumino Dad, and Joker. This time teaming Crane Man and, and Lumino Dad together. And on the other team we're gonna have Sap, Dicky, and Panda. Uh, I thought it'd be interesting to see how Dicky and Sap work together. They both seem to be the uh, aggressive style of players. I have burning hot pizza on my lap. It's okay. Here we go. Sap looking for some play there. I don't know if uh, that was supposed to be a fake, but it did not fake out Lumino Dad as he's going to take it across and try to power clear it out. Dickie's going to keep it in play, though. Uh, it looked like it was supposed to be a pass or a redirect. It didn't go as deep as they'd like. Two people just got juked out there. Joker's patience. He uh, messes up his pass to Lumino. Lumino probably jumped it a little too much, is honestly what it looked like. Uh, Crayman's going to put it up into that right corner. Uh, with some self setup, good save by Dicky. Uh, the ball came straight at him. Crane Man went for a double touch. It, he just did not have the uh, did, did not have it there. Dicky played a really really good defense. You see Crane Man trying to do something and it gets blown up out of his possession. Joker's gonna put the pressure on them though. Does not get the touch he wants on the ball as he ran out of boost. We see Dicky looking for some. Some type of contest. Crane Man's going to keep the pressure. Sap's going to outmaneuver him here. Sap's coming off the wall. Uh, it's not going to stop Joker from keeping the pressure. Sap gets the demo on Crane Man. Lumino's going to keep it moving. Are we going to see a score? Uh, last game, you know, uh, scores came in like piles pretty much. Or everything just came in like... Once one happened, it was like four more points followed up. This time around, we're almost we're we're three minutes into the game, pretty much. Not a point scored. Lumino Dad with the goal, some solo play right there. The prodigy himself. Crane man trying to get something going here. Dribbling, dribbling, flicks it up. Uh, I guess this is going to himself. He's going to pass it over to Joker, and Joker's going to get the goal. What a play! Dribble, flick, uh, into a pass to himself, or, or a pass off the wall to himself that turns into a pass to Joker for the goal. Beautifully done. What a save by Dicky Lumino Dad taking that shot. Sorry guys, I have a, a something personal going on, so I'm gonna be off the mic for a second. But I'm gonna try to hop on as soon as I can.
All right, guys. Sorry for that lack of audio. Um, it looks like I missed a lot coming in here to game three. Uh, orange team's already up three points now. There's a demo. I did not get to see who it was, but Panda pretty much just takes the ball and right over top of uh, Crane Man. That is a rough one. Oh, Lumino. Little touch there. Patiently trying to get the ball pass. Does get the ball pass both of them. Not really much of a play to be made off of it though. Lumino uh, with a redirect right there. Looking to make a bit of a play. Crane Man puts the ball up. Not much of an opportunity because no one on his team is there for the follow-up. Joker does get a touch though. Lumino tries to lightly tap it in. It is not there. And here comes the fast break from Orange Team. Uh, Panda and Dicky generating some pressure. Sap's looking for something. Sap's going to put the ball up. Uh, I think it was Lumino that kept the ball out of play. Dicky tries to take it to the wall. Lumino is just going to send it flying towards Orange Gold now. Uh, opening goal, uh, it's actually done by Crane Man. It was a pass from Lumino. Lumino comes off the ceiling right there. And then Crane Man just makes sure he finishes it. Puts it in. Lumino is showing a lot of potential. Uh, I, uh, I think he could easily, uh, he has a lot of the talent to be a first round pick. Um, my biggest knock right now is that he's 14. Uh, you are going to question the age a bit, whether it's uh, maturity, availability, etc. etc. Um, he can definitely answer a lot of that uh, at once he's drafted, depending on where he's drafted and what he's drafted. Like, whatever team actually takes the chance with him. Uh, I think is going to reap rewards uh, or it's going to turn into a major bust. It really comes down to what he turns out to be uh, as far as maturity wise in my opinion. At 14 years old is kind of young. Uh, we definitely got some older heads in here as well so like there's some standard level of uh, Maturity, even though everybody's kind of goofy and immature to some extent, there is definitely just some level of maturity. So we're gonna see how it goes out, how that plays out for him. Um, I am, I'm a fan. Like I said, I think whatever team gets him has has a good chance of getting a steal. I would not take him in the first round. Joker uh, passed the cream in there for the goal. A minute and six left, and blue team's creeping back into this game. Yeah, I would not take him in the first round. Uh, I think he's first round talent, but I think at 14 years old, it's a risk. I think you take him in the second round or later. Uh, that's just like I said. That's just a preference. Uh, you you want as many, uh, I guess, guarantees, or you want your probability as high as you can when it comes to some things, and. There's just there's too many questions. There's too much there's too much unknown right now with Lumina to put him up in that uh Sap trying to take a shot there to put him up in that uh category of a first round there in my opinion. He has like I said, he has the talent to be there. Uh, it's just more like off the non gameplay uh, decisions. Good save there from Dicky. Uh, it's a shame blue team couldn't finish, that would have uh tied the game for them. Crayman not giving up right here. Uh, it does get stolen from him, but Lumino's going to keep the ball in play. Lumino's coming over the wall here. Misses his opportunity to put some pressure, get the, get the tie. And Sap. Easy score, open goal. That's That's rough to see.
man, they're getting some pressure. Looking for a shot. He gets demoed by Crane Man. Game three is going to go to Orange Team. It's going to be match point for them. Um, five shots from Sap. Uh, no assists or saves. That's been the one category that he's been lacking in a little bit, I'd say. Uh, that, that's probably where my big red flags or question marks are, is what can you do, I guess, as a team player. He's shown some, some capability. He's shown the mechanical capability, for sure. But, uh, he hasn't, he doesn't have the stats to necessarily back it up. Sap off the wall here. He, uh, I think, honestly, um, he could play that one role with the team pretty well. Uh, if you can get his passing abilities down, uh, you have a player that can drive and kind of solo play, force his way into the in, into teams that we've seen. Uh, so like that's that's the good goal there from Lumino, or pass from Lumino, goal for Crane Man. Beautiful, bad defense coming from Orange Team. That's another question for Sab is what is his defense like. But um, we know he's fast. Uh, I would just like to see a little bit more team setup. He's shown that he can uh, he can ball, but like, you gotta be able in order to be that number one. Uh, you gotta be able to really set up uh, and, and kind of like give me some looks. Give your team some looks. Uh, try to like make a play for your number two to come in. Get that goal, or even like right now, I'm just seeing more of like he looks like a number two. Like that's where his his playmaking capability comes in. As a solo player, I think he he's got the mechanics of a one. He can drive if he needs to. I just question how much passing, how much playmaking capability. What can he do? Uh, first two, first three. After the three rotates, is he gonna be there uh, on that rotate? Like, I, I don't know. That's my big question marks about him. I think the talent's there, though. Also, a uh, red flag, though, is, you know, missing two prospect games. Uh, that's going to be a knock regardless. Uh, let's see the movement going up here. Good touch for that clear. Probably just going to put the pressure. It doesn't matter because Kramian's going to get the save. Man looks for that touch, does not get the touch he wants. Joker's looking. 50-50 uh, ball, hits it out. Dicky off of Lumino. Sap tries to clear out Lumino, keeping Lumino again. Wow. Lumino demos Panda. This man is doing everything right now for his team. He is all over the place. He misses that touch right there. Oh, that's Crane Man that missed that touch right there. Lumino misses the off the ceiling right there. It might cost his team. Sap just barely missing the shot. Uh, I guess that was supposed to be a clear out, but that could have gone really bad for his team. Panda trying to get something set. Lumino has the fast break. He's got one man. He gets over top of Dicky. Lumino with the goal. This is beautiful. Crane Man's there. Crane Man actually gets a touch on Dicky, but I don't think Dicky would have been able to stop Lumino from getting that score to begin with. Uh, even if he made the contact. 50-50 ball goes off. Dickie passes to Panda. Panda gets the goal. That happened really nonchalantly. So much confusion there. Uh, that, that, that was a wide open goal. Nobody knew where the ball was actually going. That was really quick. And that actually keeps Orange Team in the game. We see Lumina. Uh, it honestly looks like he's slowed down his personal play his a bit, but his pace around the field is definitely faster. He seems a bit more patient, uh, a bit more confident right now. Uh, it could be just because he's feeling himself. Uh, being in, you know, I think he was in a game earlier today. Uh, he, this might have been, this is his second game. He's been in quite a few prospect games now, though. Uh, he's kind of warmed up, in my opinion. 
Joker looking to try to get that save there. He does get the save. Um, he's looking good right now. He's looking real good right now. Good save there. Weak clear though. Uh, Sap pretty much knocking it to his own side of the field. Joker gets it past him. Panda is going to get that, that save though. That would have been an easy goal. Panda is going to take it off the wall. Tries to get two touches on it. Does get a touch that ends up getting stolen from him though. As Crane Man is going to set this up right in front of goal. Sap gets enough of a touch to make Lumino's dad's shot go a tad too high. Joker's going to keep the pressure up. It's now one on one. Sap gets to clear out there. He's going to come off the wall. He comes off at an awkward angle. The ball goes to Crane Man. Panda gets a monstrous save. He turns into a pass to Sap, who forces it to 50 50. Dicky demos Joker. Uh, pressure's coming. Sap gets the goal. Ties the game. That, or is it Dicky with the shot? He does get saved. It's gonna turn a fast break score. Blue team's gonna erase the tie with 30 seconds left in the game. Joker beautifully taking that. Crane man was there as well. Uh, they win that one on one situation. Orange team looking for something magical here. Uh, Crayman's going to send it flying to their goal. Joker is looking for the redirect. It's not there. Uh, the ball is above net, though. They have about 20 seconds, 15 seconds-ish. They have an opportunity right here. Uh, Joker is going to clear it across. Joker is going to set it up to the goal. He gets it there. It gets power cleared out. There's an opportunity. The ball is up in the air. The ball is in play. Joker demos sap. The shot was there, but it does get saved. Ball still up. Oh. Blue team is going to win game four. And we're going to get a game five. Let's take a look at these stats real quick. So, Sap had his lowest shot of this series. Or attempts, I should say. Uh, oh, it was only two. Panda had two. Uh, I like what Dicky brought. Two saves and assists. One shot attempt. I like it a little bit more as far as shot attempts go. Lumino Dad, one of two. Crane Man, one of three. Joker, one of three. Like, they took the attempts. I like about nine per team. Uh, they gave me eight. I'm okay with that. You look over at Orange Team, they gave you uh, five. Like, I. I'm not saying that's like the difference maker, but it definitely factors in. Let's see how this pans out. Immediately, Dicky takes a shot that's saved by Joker. Sap's going to come off the wall. He gets the steal. He has an opportunity a wide open goal, but he gets demoed by Lumino Dad and he gets saved by Joker. What a play! Lumino Dad is having a field day. So is Sap. Dickie's had a really strong game. Crayman's had a strong game. Crayman with a demo there. Like, all of these players are doing really, really well right now. Crayman demos Sap. There's a lot of demo going on. Crayman gets the score over top of Panda, I believe. Over top of. Yeah, Panda. Uh, Panda actually uh, came off the corner, and that's what threw his car's angle off right there. That's a little rough. Lumino wins the tip, and he's going to put it up towards their goal, though. Uh, 
uh, somehow that actually counted as a shot, and they're going to get the save off the ceiling. Shot by Sap. It is not there. Panda prevents the fast break, although it looks like he kind of set it up to the enemy team. They are going to get a bit of a weak clear. Lumino just fakes them out, but that does get the ball stolen from him by Sap. Crane Man looking to get that touch. Does not get the touch he wants. Sap's able to the ball up. Uh, I think it was Dickie was there. Uh, he did not get the touch. No, that Dickie was not there. That's Dickie that's there. Dickie just gets the dub on Joker. Beautifully done. Panda puts the ball up. He gets tipped out. Panda's looking for the touch. He doesn't get it. Lumino clears it out. Dickie keeps the ball in play for Orange Team. Trying to generate the pressure. Crane Man flicking it out. Joker looking to get this set up. He does. He puts it in a position. It gets easily cleared out. It was almost a fast redirect, but it does get touched by Blue Team. Dickie gets a. Oh! Dickie almost had a, his uh, good solar drive there for a goal, and then it almost turned into a beautiful pass to Sap. Neither able to capitalize. Sap demos Lumino. Crane Man prevents any pressure, but he doesn't get the defense he wants. And now there's a lot of pressure on the left side of this blue goal. Dickie's going to take a shot, but it is challenged by Crane Man. Sap's looking for something here. He's going to try to come off and play defense from it, but he doesn't need to because it gets cleared out pretty well. Crane Man is there to try to get some possession on it. Sap misses a big opportunity, and now it's, it could turn into a fast break score. He's got to play some good defense. He gets beaten a one-on-one. -on -one. And it is a goal by Blue Team. Crane Man, pass from Joker. That is rough. Two minutes and 22 seconds. 2-0 lead by Blue Team. In game five. Lumino going up. Gets it past one man. Uh, Dickie's trying to put the ball in play. Joker gets a little bullied out of the touch he needs. Sap misses the touch completely. Crane Man's going to take it on one-on-one. -on -one. He gets the flick, wins the one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, the ball doesn't go into an area of the field that is desirable for the play to happen, so Blue Team's going to kind of wait, let Orange drive a little bit right now. Lumino gets the setup. Crane Man takes the shot. It's a little too high and to the left. Gets cleared out pretty well. Panda's going up. Panda throws it off the wall. Turns into a pass. Doesn't matter. Lumino's there to send it back. Dickie puts the ball back. Panda missing an opportunity there. I'm not sure where they were going to go with that. Dickie uh, trying to prevent any pressure from being put on their goal. There's already enough as it is with a minute 25 in game 5. Down 2 0. Joker. Uh, Kind of helping uh, Orange Team out there a little bit. Dickie has the ball. They, it looked like they were going for a pinch. They didn't get the pinch they want. Joker comes across the field with a beautiful aerial. Gets the touch he needs. The ball is on Blue Team's side. There is a possibility for a score, which they need right now. Want Orange Team. You got to clutch it right here. Crane Man gets the demo on Dickie. Crane Man gets the goal. And that is a 3-0 lead by Blue Team in Game 5 with a minute left. This is probably game. Three goals in a minute isn't impossible, but it's improbable. Sap wins tip-off. Only to have Lumino Dad send it to the goal. It, he does miss a little far to the right. Dickie is going to take the possession. Uh, it gets stolen from him by Crane Man. Crane Man's going to send it flying towards the goal. It's way too much to the left, though. Everybody's able to make contact. Sap's going to take it off the wall. He wins that, but Lumino's waiting there. Lumino gets the second touch, and it's a goal. Lumino pa or Joker passing the Crane Man. What? What? Lumino, right there. Joker to you. Beautiful. Okay.
pressures on orange team again it could result in another goal a joker looking to get a second touch right there does not get the touch you'd like he's going to come off the wall sap does clear it out uh, and this game five is going to be a blowout if he does get the lone goal for his team 4-1 still blowout no time on the clock that's unfortunate Crane Man went 4 for 4. Uh, Joker, 2 assists, 3 saves. That's what I like to see. Lumino only had one shot, but his presence was felt in rotations pretty well. Dicky, 3 attempts like that. Sap, 3 attempts like that. Panda, just the one attempt. More than likely, kind of playing back a little bit, waiting to see what the teammates can bring. Uh, trying to evaluate the pressure that the prospects can generate. Mm -hmm. I should be streaming again tomorrow, guys, at 5 p.m., 8 p.m., and 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, this Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, be sure to tune in uh, as myself, RGB Panda, and David Park will be discussing uh, free agency, prospects, the draft, uh, all of that kind of stuff. That's going to be at Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy your night.